Hey, what's up guys? It's Graphic Phoenix back with another video today, and today we're doing a February Reptile Room tour. Now, unfortunately, this very well might be, uh, A, the messiest Reptile Room tour ever, as you can see. Um, we're in the midst of moving. You'll see the other half of my room, and it's changed a lot. Uh, the next thing to change will be this. But not only will it be the messiest, it's also one of the most sad. Uh, as you guys might know, if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen that Rango passed away. Um, I haven't gotten to making that video. Uh, he passed away on January 30th, 2016. He was about five years old. And it really, really, really sucks. I am hopefully going to be uh, moving all of his stuff out. Well, maybe not all of it, but some of it out, certainly. And basically resetting up this cage for his son, Kai. Now, uh, as you guys all know, Kai is Rango's... One of Rango's offspring. And I decided to keep him in case this did happen. So we can keep his line going. My mom really, really wants to get a female. Um, I personally uh, am looking... Like I said, there's that pair of Jackson, so I don't, I, I don't want to jump on it. It's not like I'm replacing him or anything. It just, um, it leaves a hole in your heart, you know. Especially when you lose a pet that that's so, so meaningful to you. Um, you've had him for so long. Like you guys have seen, like he was one of the staples of my YouTube channel. Now I think Sheldon's kind of filling in, but. Um, yeah, it, it really sucks. I know many of you guys have lost pets before, so you guys know exactly what it feels like to have one of your best animal buddies um, leave. And I I recognize that some of you in my last video on the update of him were saying, oh, take him to the vet, take him to the vet, blah, blah, blah. The only reason I didn't do that was because I kind of knew the end was near and I didn't want to go spend five or six hundred dollars for an emergency vet trip just for them to be like, oh, put him in the freezer, you know? Um, I, I didn't want that for myself and I didn't want that to be the end of him. I wanted to go, I wanted him to leave due to natural causes and give him the best last couple days of his life, so. I held him, I posted a picture on Instagram, the link, will, the link will be in the description down below, and you guys can check out the very last picture I took of my boy Rango. Sorry to start this off on such a shitty note, but that's kind of where it had to begin. You guys have already seen Kai, um, he's doing very well, he's in the midst of a shed, but whatever, when's he not shedding? And you can see here that we have changed some things around. There's no longer a 75 gallon tank there. And that's because, see it comes off really blue and the frequency's off, so I'm sorry. I see that, the waviness. But you can see that is Sky right there. This is his new tank. Um, it is four feet by two feet by 12 inches high and that is more than enough space for him. I also have, oh man, that's really bad. But I also have a heat panel in there and then just some of his old decorations, water dish, food bowl, and him of course. So he's doing really well. Not really anything to say to him. He is an Indonesian or a Toliko Gigas, Indonesian Meraki blue tongue skink. Uh, down here we have the monitors. There he is. Probably pretty hungry. I didn't feed him yesterday. That's Bowser, the red Aki monitor, and his tank. Uh, you can <laughs> in the back there. You can see another tail. That's his cage mate Stella. She is doing well as also, as well as their tank is four feet long by two feet deep by two feet high. There is a 100 and 100 watt bulb there, I believe. Basking spot right there makes that spot about 125 degrees. And then we have two UVB bulbs as well. That is their setup. Rango's old cage, as I mentioned, I haven't done anything with it. A, I've been really busy with school, and B, um, it's actually a really big job, especially with what I'm planning to do over here, and that's going to happen 
hopefully sometime this week, if not this weekend. Up top here, I just have some soil mixture. I have some aquatic moss that I use for the tadpoles. You guys can't really see that because the reflection. And then there's a big jar of just moss and random, like, whatever live plants were growing in that moss. No idea what kind they are, but... <laughs> up here, we have... Finally, after so long of trying, we have passion fruit seeds, uh, or seedlings, I guess. They're doing really well. Uh, the only thing is they were growing in that humid dome up there, so it's really humid. It sucks because they aren't used to being not at like 100% humidity, so you can see that one back there, the shriveled up one. That's what happens to it. They just go all crappy. So, I do have a misting system still set up with Rango, so it still miss them a couple times a day. And then, up in the plant area, uh, I have a couple more here, as you can see right there. And then even more right here. I don't think I've gotten any new plants in here. I do have a couple brand new ones that I'm going to be giving to Sheldon so he can demolish them. Because we all know that's what Sheldon does. But I won't do a plant room or like a plant video right here. Uh, I'll just show you. Everything's doing fairly well. All of the uh, watering Jew and the begonia died. So I'm going to have to pick more up here in the new future. I don't know when. Sheldon I don't think is out. But everybody knows that he is... He gets weighed every reptile room video. Come here, bud. He was sleeping. I just woke him up. But we'll take him right now. Go to the scale. So here we are at the scale. Weighing in at a whopping, Jesus, 531.6 grams. And last month, you can see, he was 483 grams. So... Certainly still growing. So here we are back at Sheldon's pen. <laughs> Guys, he is a demolisher. He completely destroyed that bromeliad. He already killed that bromeliad. I don't know how this, uh, what is this, geranium I think it is? It's still going. And the Dracantia is doing fairly well just because it's kind of out of his reach, which is nice. But everything else is still quite standard. I still only have the one bulb up here. I just haven't went out and bought a second one yet. The pen is 5 foot by 2 feet by 1 foot tall. Filled with... It's basically filled with organic topsoil. Um, the frog cages... <laughs> the frogs are doing very well. Uh, they rent to Maya Ventry Maculata. Have a ton of eggs in there. I just haven't removed them because I have all of these. So <laughs> the longer I can leave them in there, the better. They are doing very well. I'm hoping to move them very soon. Uh, I only have one cage set up, which is this guy here. But I have a second one. It's ready to go. And I will be making a video of the whole setup process. I'm not going to include a waterfall in that one. The whole setup process will be covered. So those of you asking, oh, can you do a tutorial on how you made this one? I mean, obviously it won't be the same, but I will make one. Don't worry. Uh, the reticulata are actually doing really well. Um, there's some bromeliad pups back there. They're doing very well. There are... Uh, more bromeliads, which is why I like this tank so much. There's so many bromeliads in it that it's nice. So I saw some of the dart frogs were out. So I'll try and add this to the reptile room tour. Reticulatus were out. Um, I don't see them anymore though. That's unfortunate. But there's a little extra treat. He's out too. That was man. Anyways.
back to the video. Don't have any tadpoles in here. I actually managed to get the only reticulata tadpole. And it's in this jar right here. There he is. You check him out. Can't really see him that well, but there he was swimming away. Uh, some of the tadpoles actually do have like full color, or some of them are starting to get color. You can see that one there has a little bit of color on its head there, and then of course you can't see this one, but I'll just make it so you can see him. See. He buried his head, but he has color. I don't know if you guys saw it. He has almost full color, and he still doesn't have any back legs. Apparently, that's what these reticulata like to do, is just get a lot of color and then not do anything, um, not grow any legs or anything. Oh, I'm not sure how that's going to work out or not. All in all, the tadpoles are doing very well. Of course, as I'm filming this, the shrimp tank is not on. There are not any changes, <laughs> of course. There, I did move, uh, you can see those two there, those are the um, Bucephalophandra or whatever. The, uh, I think they're from Taiwan. The Arrogant and the Elegant Blue. If you guys want to see what they look like, you can basically Google them and see they are still green right now. They're very slow growers, so that's <laughs> an issue, especially when wanting to show a lot of colors. I'll actually get to show you guys Tig today. That's perfect. So Tig's doing actually very well. You can see her right down there. I'm not going to keep that light on her. So Tig's doing very well. I know some of you have seen the video where she has a seizure basically right in my hand. Scared the crap out of me, but she hasn't done it again. So that is awesome news. I'm, <laughs> I'm very happy she hasn't because that was actually quite terrifying. But she's in an 18 by 18 by 24 reptile edge cage. If you guys want to check them out, I'm not sure if they have these, but they do carry a lot of different sizes, and they're very awesome cages, super, super, super lightweight, and I do recommend them. Up top there, we just have some tadpole tea, some very concentrated tadpole tea, some fruit flies, and mostly dead cultures that I need to clean out. And over here we have a lot more fruit fly cultures and then some that I just started last night with no fruit flies in them yet just because I let them cool off. Here is Striker. I'll show you him. Because he's not in every single one of my videos. He's the one that started it all. He's like 10 years old or 11 years old and he's doing awesome. Pass that glare. There we go. He's doing wonderful. He's a high yellow leopard gecko. He's in a 15 gallon cage and he's doing awesome. I have his basking spot on this side of the cage, his cold side on that side, and a water bowl in the middle. So I think that kind of wraps everything up. We've covered everyone and everybody. So if you guys have made it to the very end of this video, I know it's been kind of a sad video and it kind of bummed me out to film it to be completely honest, but I hope you guys enjoyed. There will be plenty of changes coming in the near future. I hope to be making a video about the update on the Biopod project. If you guys don't know, uh, it's basically like a self-sustaining ecosystem uh, tank that I purchased in November? No, October. And it's said to be shipped in December. Still isn't here. They changed the date to March, so we'll see if I actually do get it in March. But I'll give you guys an update kind of outlining the whole process of the Biopod and um, why it's taking so long. Other than that, uh, if you guys want to leave your condolences down below, of course, I'm always okay with that. My mom has found it very, very tough. I, I guess, handled it as well as I can handle it. Uh, cried a little bit. It sucks a lot. But that's life. It's the circle of life. Things live, things die. So in the comment section down below, if you want to recommend, uh, if you want to say any words, uh, that would be much appreciated. If you um, have any suggestions for what you might want me to get. If there's somebody that suggests something really cool, maybe I'll consider it. If you say Bearded Dragon, not even going to respond to that comment. So let's see what you guys can come up with. I think that would be kind of cool. Keep in mind, I like 
not really beginner things, and I'm not allowed to have snakes, so... Lizards and frogs, that's kind of what we're limited to. I hope you guys had a great day, and are going to have a great day if you're watching this in the morning. If you liked the video, drop a like down below. Like I said, comment in the comment section. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just say it down below and I answer pretty much all of them. And subscribe to my channel for more reptile, frog, and hey, the shrimp tank lights are on now. <laughs> have a good one, guys. Graphic Phoenix, out of here.